Today's video is going to be about how to troubleshoot a misfire on an LT1 fiber trans. If you're a subscriber to our channel, you probably know that this is my daily driver. And yesterday, on my way back home, I noticed a slight miss. I already troubleshooted, but I'm going to take this opportunity to show you how to troubleshoot a misfire in your Trans Am, or Camaro, or even Corvette if it has an LT1, in case it develops a miss. I'm also going to include two links to a couple of videos that we did in the past that will help with the troubleshooting and repairing of an issue like this. The tools that are needed to troubleshoot a misfire in LT1 are almost the same as what you would use on anything else. You need a spark tester, a noise light, and a stethoscope. I'm going to aim the camera up close so you can see what they look up close. So this is the noise light the spark tester and the stethoscope. So those are the tools that I needed. So now that you know what tools to use, I'm going to start the vehicle and I'm going to show you how it sounds when you have a misfire. You can hear it right there, but if you put your hand over it, hear that? That sound right there? The stream milk sauce should be coming out evenly, unless you have a long duration camshaft obviously that it will give you that lumpy sound, but because this camshaft is the stock, it should have been smooth, not this sound. So that's a misfire right there. So we're going to go to the engine and troubleshoot it. From under the hood, unless you listen to the exhaust, the engine still appears smooth. But we already know it's only running on seven cylinders. And seven cylinders on a Trans Am, it's just not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be driving this car running on seven cylinders. So I'm gonna show you how I found my misfire. Show you how, how this looks. 
this was the gesture that when I was going with the same stroke, it was not clicking. I couldn't get a clicking sound. So when I'm doing that, disconnect it. Maybe not. This is where you would see the spark jumping across, you know, very fast. And a very strong spark would be blue, and a weak spark would be yellow. And then you adjust it. These numbers right here are in tens of thousands of volts. So if you adjust all the way here, that would be a 20,000 current being able to jump across, 40,000 being able to jump all the way across. So that's how you would know if it was just weak if it only jumps when it's here or if it's able to jump all the way across and it's blue so that would know you would know the strength of the spark at that point so let's go through a few examples right if you don't get the spark jumping across or is very weak then at that point you have probably a bad spark plug wire or this vehicle has an opti spark distributor, it could be in the cap if that's the case. So that's another example of what could be causing a misfire on this type of engine. Now let's say that you hear all the injectors clicking, you have very strong spark going across on every single cylinder, but you still have a misfire. Well, if that's the case, then you still have a few possibilities. You could have an injector that is clogged, that even though the solenoid and the injector itself is working, the nozzle is so clogged that the fuel doesn't go through. And how you can determine which cylinder it is, it's very simple. When you are unplugging the injectors or the spark plug wires, the cylinder that is not working is not going to change the RPMs of the engine. So regardless of what the problem is, whether it's an injector, or a spark plug, or a wire, or whatever, uh, the RPMs will remain the same every time you mess with that particular cylinder, so that's how you will know. So, one last possibility, and the least desirable of them all, obviously, is no compression. Because if you have spark, you have a good injector, and everything else is working correctly, but you still have a miss on the cylinder, 
And at that point, you would have to use a compression tester. That looks like this. So a compression tester, what you would do You will remove a spark plug of the cylinder that's causing you the problems. You thread this part into it, and you have to gauge. It's better if you disable the ignition, you just unplug the ignition coil, and you come to your vehicle over, and at that point you would see how many pounds of pressure that cylinder has. This is what the gauge looks like close. Any year make a model, to be able to run, it has to have at least a hundred. Anything under a hundred, you're going to notice a misfire. And when the valves of that cylinder are not sitting properly, at higher RPMs, it may not be noticeable anymore than it would be at idle, because then your pressure would drop below a hundred. Like I said, that would be the least desirable cause of a mess because at that point, if your misfire is caused by low compression, what that means is you're going to have to remove the cylinder head and you're going to have to do a valve job to cure the problem. So hopefully if you have a misfire, it's something as simple as what well, we just found with this car, which is just a bad injector, very simple to do, and it gets you back on the road in no time with relatively low amount of money. So there you go, now you know how to troubleshoot a misfire problem on an LT1 engine, whether it's a Trans Am, a Camaro, or a Corvette. Thanks for watching today's video. We'll see you next time.